we have a new update for Mugenics. Let's go over it. So, Edmund McMillan, the creator of Mugenics, the cat fighting tactics game, uh, has released the classes of the games, or at least the classes that currently exist. There are six of them, and they each have four different archetypes, which means that there are kind of 24 different varietals of the classes in the game as of right now, and possibly more. Uh, based on the wording that was used in this post when they say common archetypes for fighter and then list these four different classes or archetypes for the class, you know, like One Punch Man doing more damage or Army of the Can hitting multiple or Risky going above your uh, mana capacity and things like that and becoming stronger when your, enemy, when your allies die, I'm thinking that because it's listed as common, that that means that there is one uncommon, two rare, and three legendary or something named similar to that for archetypes. Because common, to say common archetypes means that there are something other than common. Uh, in my opinion, if there was only these four classes, he would have just said like the archetypes for fighters, not common archetypes for fighters, which you know really interests me. Uh, but the archetypes that they go over for all the classes are really cool. They also go over like the, what the basic attack is for these Clyder, uh, or these classes and the stat bonuses that they get. They all have individual stat bonuses that kind of pertain to their class, much like you would in D&D in, you know, building your character there or any other RPG. They have focuses on strength or con or int or charisma and so forth and so on. And they also have drawbacks when relating to those classes. Now, a lot of these uh, archetypes are actually really cool. So, like, whether it be like specializing in specific particular types of magic, like focusing on fire or ice, or casting multiple turns giving you like uh, bonuses or giving you the ability to just do that, or you know, fueling a mana to give to other cats on your teams, which means that there's going to be mana hungry cats on your team. So big mana hungry cat, mana generating cat, give the mana. I could see that happening. Uh, and then defensive ones, which seems like kind of like debuffing almost. Avoiding, withstanding, so shielding, debuffing, stuff like that. You know, slow and hinder. Cleric has like your, your basic full heal type. You're in the middle of fighting and healing. The straight like uh, buffing and then the basically seemingly like necromancy, but that's not saying that's what it is. It's back for more. It's you rise your fallen, cam uh, fallen comrades from dead store and get them back in the battle kind of like a necromancer <laughs> but i maybe they hate maybe necromancer might actually be one of those like uncommon rare or legendary types that get added into the game you never know dude uh, a necromancer is kind of like a cleric it's just like the bad version um there's also tank uh, my favorite thing being here is the thick boy uh i think he definitely should have named it chunky or uh, Le Tronc or something like that. It fits a little bit more for cats, but I do like this. It's a super tanky type, then you have like the one that can knock people around and do collision into the environment, which is something we weren't sure was 100% possible. I think it was hinted at in the last update, but it wasn't saying like if you hit them into something, 100% it would do damage or stun them. Uh, at least that I can remember. Maybe I'm misremembering, but uh, it, it's saying that there are definitely more stuff, uh, when environmental things that you can do here as well as like moving your own enemies around if you want to protect your glass cannon ones with the protector. And rocks I find really interesting because apparently they can create and utilize rocks. I'm not sure how that's quite going to happen. We're going to have earth bending cats, I guess. Toph is uh, going to be the name of any cat that has the ability rocks or the, the archetype rocks for tank. But uh, I'm liking where that's going because that means you can probably make a lot of like environmental situations where they hit your rocks or glide into them with let's say you have a stay back tank and a rocks tank you can set up some combos there probably you have hunter which is like your basic like traps or your summoning boy or your really long range version or the scatter shot which is multiple enemies and then you have thief which goes like the backstabber or one that can increase uh coin gain uh, abilities that focus on gaining coins or gaining range bonuses for doing so uh, maybe they might end up putting things that you might get like bonuses for having a certain amount of coins since your party's coins are everyone. It's not just like for one cat. Like so maybe there'll be something like that down the line when it comes to like active or passive abilities that maybe you spend the coins to do damage. Like a guild toss, right, in Final Fantasy. Uh, Mr. Gone is like a, the, the evasive kind and then you have the more dots archetype which is just going to be damage over time abilities which can be very good, I guess, against a very tanky boss. Uh, but I'm excited. This this is a lot of cool stuff for eugenics. 
and uh, I can't wait to see more. There is already another update that I need to cover, which is going to be going over the passive and active abilities. There's like 200 passives and 400 actives, which means, while well, there's, there's a, a, quite a lot more to go over, and that means that there's also going to be quite a lot of combinations between those passive and actives. Uh, as we know, this is made by Edmund McMillan, so his baby originally was Binding of Isaac, and we know how crazy combinations can get in that if you've ever played the game. I imagine that something similar will exist in this. Um, there is one more thing to show off, though, and that is Eaten Rats, which is, uh, man, I love the soundtracks of uh, this game. Tasty legs and crispy thighs on my mind. I'm so hungry now, I'm gonna chase them, grab them, fry them. So I love these songs. I'm gonna have this on repeat for hours, just like I did Kitty Bones.